Hello guys and welcome back to yet another How I Shot This. I am a wedding photographer in Birmingham in the UK. My name is John and you can find my work at jdsweddings.com. Now up on screen I have got a collection of lovely little pictures all shot with flash no less at the beautiful Edge Buston Park Hotel that is in Birmingham, right next to the University of Birmingham. And I wanted to walk through my lighting setup, how I achieved it, what I did and I'm going to go through in real time. If you're a wedding photographer you may find this interesting. It's a two light setup and I'm going to be going through the equipment list, the direction, the placement, the shooting thoughts and pretty much everything else. Let's go. So straight out the bat I am adjusting my GoPro. This is mounted to my shoulder just so I can capture some of this. And uh, in the venue they had set up a dance floor with the sparkly twinkly lights which uh, fun fact actually emits smoke halfway through. The good kind of smoke, you know that uh, foggy stuff. I'm shooting with a Fujifilm X-T3 with a Godox lighting setup. This is an AD200 at the front and a V860 Mark II uh, F for Fujifilm on the back, three meter and two meter stands. And what I'm doing at the moment is I am getting test subjects in. I've got my assistant Kyle there, just in the middle. He is standing right in the middle of the room just so I can adjust the lights and get them to basically pool in the middle of the room. On each of the lights I have the same modifier, these are both grids and they're both from MagMod. Uh, MagMod supply awesome silicon adjustable bulletproof pieces of modifiers. The grids are going to constrict the light a little bit, uh, it's just going to centre the pool of light into the middle and focus a bit more power there. Uh, I don't particularly want to illuminate the entire room and if I left these flashes just bare bulb uh, I would have at this point. So I've got the two meter stand with the V860 at the back. It's a slightly less powerful light. And uh, around the front where I'm going now, on the three meter, which is a heavy duty stand. There we go. I've got the AD200. You can see it's firing at half power. Pro tip, if you do want to adjust your flash power, just bring the uh, light stand sideways instead of dropping up and down. That way you maintain your height and uh, angle. So you can see I've just dropped down the ambient light inside the camera. I've got the live view disabled, so uh, whatever I change it to, it will go lighter or darker. And once I've changed my aperture to what I want and my uh, shutter speed, I will then turn the flashes up and down just to taste, to get a little bit of pop, make sure I'm not too powerful. So that is actually it, that's the lighting setup done and uh, Kyle confidently walks away there whilst we uh, get the sound check done for the uh, band. Okay, now we are seconds away from doing the first dance. Uh, surprise, there are two black boxes at the back, kids standing in between them, being shuffled out of the way because they've just been told those are fireworks and uh, not ideal. There we go, so they're just being shuffled out of the way. You can see the light at the back is flashing a little red flash beneath it which means it's prepped for the trigger. We've got loads of guests in this one, about 150. And uh, I had to secure my three meter stand behind a seat and actually cover the base with weights. Uh, the also the videographer who was there set up a tripod there. So it was like a no go zone for any couples or any guests. So this is what I thought the actual um, first dance was gonna be, just nice and sweet. And then in comes the smoke off the side. I was not expecting this. Um, I did not see them set up. They were in and out like uh, ninjas at this point. So you can see on the back of the camera, I'm just messing with the flash power to ambient ratio. I've kept my ambient pretty much the same. So I just turn up and down my key light, which is the big one at the front, to make it not too bright, not too dark. And then I'll be jumping over to my, my rear, sorry, which is the one at the back just to make sure there's a nice little uh, white light that goes around the back of them and just illuminates them, gives them a 3D look. So let's get a couple of orientation shots in. The kids are absolutely loving the smoke there. There we go. And don't worry about kids, you know, waving hands around in front of the camera. Digital camera, you can just keep on going. So I'm up, I'm trying a different angle. I'm gonna get behind people and surprise, sparklers. <laughs> Now, because I am using uh, flashes, I have controlled the ambient in the room, so it's pretty dark. So even those sparklers that appear are not uh, overpowering. They're not providing too much light. 
and uh, although they're only going for about 10 seconds ago, they've uh, captured a couple of shots there. So we've got family in the photo now, we're dancing with the little girl. I like layering my images, so there we go, lovely shot. And I have just taken my camera off my strap so I can get a much higher angle of shooting. Beauty of shooting with a mirrorless camera and just looking at the screen is I can put the camera anywhere I need to. Now having layers, uh, so like a foreground element, the lights aren't hitting them so they're going to be uh, almost uh, in darkness. Then we've got the layer of the room that has the bride and groom and then the layer of the room that has the uh, ambient and the outside windows and the sparklers. So this is me just trying to find a spot now at this point. As you can tell it's uh, pretty ramoed in here. So, uh, so sneaking my way past. I'm not looking at that person's camera honestly. I think I'm shooting sideways so I'm facing forwards but my hands out to the right capturing those shots. Lens is just a simple 2.8 to 4, 18 to 55 lens, it's just a kit lens for Fujifilm. And this time I'm now going to get into the weeds down the bottom and I'm going to shoot at uh, child level to see if I can shoot through them using them as layers again and get the bride and groom illuminated in the middle. So it's going pretty well, you can see there's some unexpected surprises from kids um, getting in in the frame but digital you can just take another one another one the beauty of shooting with these Godox flashes is that they are lithium batteries they have a very fast recycle time and therefore you should be able to just rattle off a load of pretty high powered shots over and over again and the last blast from the sparklers on the back I shouldn't really call them sparklers a bit bigger and we are pretty much at the end of the first dance already. So I hope you like it guys, that was a super simple two light setup, one key, one rim, uh, controlling the ambient in the room, looking out for surprises and uh, guest interaction, creating layers. And yeah, hopefully you can implement it in your videos and in your photos. I will see you in a future video, consider subscribing if you are into all this wedding stuff. See you in a future video.